Non, non, non. Hi there, I'm Schmitty, and I truly hope that you all consider me to be an acquaintance. Oh man, just once can I pop up on Tom Hanks TV? Well, you'll do. Let's go! Time for round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it!
Let's start this show. The first prompt is another use for tampons. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next one, most people know it as the Big Apple, but a lesser known nickname for New York is the Big Blank. <laughs> Next in line, you know you're a chocoholic when... Next up, if you really want to impress the Olympic diving judges, try a dive that involves blank. And next, a magazine that should never have a nude centerfold. It's voting time. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. First one, a creepy thing to write in your email signature line. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Coming up next, the winners on The Bachelor get a rose. The losers should get blank. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. Which new marshmallow should Lucky Charm cereal introduce? Time to vote. And 
next is a good improvement to make to Mount Rushmore. It's voting time. It would be awesome to win Jeopardy with the phrase, what is blank, Alex? Vote on your devices. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Our last lash prompt is... Something that is currently legal that should be banned. Take a look. Okay, in round three, you get to award three votes. You can give them all to one answer or spread them out. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
I'm Cookie Masterson, and welcome to Fibbage. If at any point this game makes you angry, you're doing it right. Five players. Hey, the best things come in fives. Senses, stages of grief, people you meet in heaven. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. The bite of the Lone Star Tick has an unusual side effect. It can make its victims become allergic to blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Okay, let's take a look. So if you're bitten, you can expect a corned beef rash. And nobody picked any of these other lies. Select a category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, here's the question. Japanese company Kagomi invented a rather unusual mechanical backpack that will, with the mere pull of a lever, dispense blank to the wearer. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? You say tomato dispensing backpack, I say tomato dispensing bakpook. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Nicolas Cage has already bought his grave in New Orleans. It's nine feet tall and shaped like a blank. Enter your lies now.
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody picked. Yes, a pyramid, because where else would a national treasure be buried? And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The governor of Phnom Penh, Cambodia, upset more than a few of his constituents in September of 2003 when he encouraged them to blank. Write your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody selected. He was attempting to decrease the number of strays. I guess he believed you really could eat away your troubles. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. A new security system installed by fast food chain Subway hopes to thwart theft by a mechanism that sprays robbers with blank. Input your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? All right, who picked what?
Wow, nice snow job on that one. Okay, well, you all dropped the ball. <laughs> Cops can identify the robber by running a black light over them. Currently, every hotel bedspread in the country is a suspect in the theft of a six-inch black forest ham on honey oat. And we're done. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Archaeologists in 2015 discovered an ancient Mayan mural they believe depicts the world's first recorded instance of blank. Write your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, find the truth. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. The hardest part about photobombing a painted mural is not to die of thirst during the three weeks it takes to create it. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Here's your final fibbage question. The unusual thing that jazz musician Bill Wharton is known for having on stage during his concerts. Enter your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? And that means...